Hey friends, this is Shaz and welcome back to the Ministry of Reviews. Today I will review another very nice CarPlay media adapter from the Time Now brand. It is a very good budget car media adapter with so many nice features. It has uh, one of the best looking user interface in the market. It comes with a live TV app with so many sports, movies, news and entertainment live channels. It comes with an HDMI port as well. So you can also connect this device with your TV at home plus many other nice features. Now let's first do the unboxing and then I will take this out and connect it in my car and then start testing the performance of this new Time Now car media adapter. So please watch this video till the end. All right, friends, so this is all we get uh, inside this box. Um, you get uh, the user manual, then you get two cables. These are the cables to connect the device with your car. So you get a type C to type C and type C to type A. Now, depending on the connection in your car, you would need to use one of these. Now, this also comes with HDMI cable. Um, now, as I mentioned earlier, the device comes with HDMI port. So you, you can actually connect this with the back seats in your car or even with, the, with your TV at home and then finally you've got this time now carplay media adapter now uh, let's have a closer look at the device um, it's a very small compact very lightweight because it's all plastic it's got a standard squarish design like most of the other carplay devices in the market you've got the name of the brand on top in terms of the connections you've got the type c connection here this is where you connect the cable that connects with the car um, and the other end you've got the hdmi port and this is where you connect the hdmi cable to connect it with either the back seats or the tv at home uh, you also get a usb a flash drive so you can connect a flash drive for you know playing videos audios through the external uh, device um, you can also connect an external uh, device like a air mouse or uh, a remote control or a keyboard um, something like this um, and but this is extremely useful for cars who do not have a touch screen if you've got a touch screen in your car then you don't need to connect any external device but if you have um, a, a touch knob kind of uh, a screen then i would highly recommend you to get some something like this uh, you've got so many other different types uh, in the market as well uh, but basically this device connects at the usb a port here uh, and then you can use this uh, device on the screen and it's very very easy and convenient with such a small uh, external device other than using the knob this would be much more convenient um, uh, other than that I think uh, the device is a very standard kind of a design you've got spacing on the sides and the back uh, for ventilation so the device doesn't heat up now let me take this out uh, to my car connect it and then we start testing the performance of this uh, new time now carplay media adapter so keep watching guys All right, friends, so I've got this, uh, the Time Now uh, CarPlay adapter with me here. I'll connect this uh, with the system of my car. Uh, but at the same time, I would also like to see how long would it take to start and get to the main homepage. So I've got my stopwatch ready with me. Uh, so now let me connect this with the car uh, using the same cable. All right, let's see how long does it take. All right, so it takes about 30 to 31 seconds for this device to start and get to the main home page or the landing page of the system like this. So friends, this is the landing page or the home page of the Android system on this Time Now CarPlay Media Adapter. Um, it looks very, very nice. You know, the color combination, um, the theme looks quite nice. I must say the widgets, the layout of the widgets um, and the design. Uh, looks quite attractive I must say uh, so now let me give you a quick tour of uh, of this home page now on the top left you've got the connectivity this is where you can actually go and connect this device with internet now this device has only one option of connecting it to internet uh, and that is through the mobile hotspot so I've already connected this device with my mobile's hotspot uh, now the other thing here on top is that this device on top of the device the physical device you'll see an indicator a LED indicator with the logo of the brand um, and it, it kind of has different color combinations and actually you can go and change the color um, as per your preference and uh, you know 
uh, that is what it would appear on the top of that. This is just a no novelty factor and you know, it does not impact the performance of the device. Coming back to the home page, now looking at the main area, now we have got the media here, you have got the shortcuts to the CarPlay and Android Auto, shortcuts to some of the media apps like YouTube, YouTube Music, Netflix, Spotify, you have got TikTok, you also have access to the USB flash drive and then finally the settings. Um, now on top you have got this home icon, this is where we are. So if you click on applications, this is where we see all the different apps that are installed on this uh, device. Now. Another thing to keep in mind is that this device is actually an, a closed Android uh, system device. Now what that means is that you have got all these pre-installed apps and that is it. You cannot install any more apps on this device and that is what a closed Android system is. So you can see you have got the CarPlay and the Android Auto, you have got some video streaming apps like YouTube, Netflix, uh, Spotify. Uh, and then you also have some other uh, things like accessing the USB. Uh, most important is for me the supercast. This is where you can actually uh, mirror the screen of your mobile. And then finally, uh, one added feature in this device compared to the other devices is a live TV app. Uh, this is where you can actually access a lot of free channels and I will show you how to uh, do that later on in this video. Uh, and then finally, you have got the settings section. This is where you have all the different settings available on this device um, like these, the Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, the wallpaper and all. Um, and let us come back to the main home page. So what I will do is in order to test the performance of this uh, Time Now CarPlay Media Adapter, I will now start testing some of the frequently used or more important uh, applications to see how this device performs. So now let us start testing uh, some of the devices. So for the, for the first one I want to test the YouTube uh, and I will test this uh, video and this is my video and the reason I test this is to see whether the video and the audio is in sync. All right, so I can also use the steering wheel control. And many of you would know, Superbox is a very well-known name in the entertainment gadget industry, and they're celebrating their fourth anniversary so, this week. So, the, so the video and audio is completely in sync. Um, now let's see if we can uh, try to change the the resolution on this one. This is playing in 360p. Um, I would like to take it up to. Uh, slightly higher for example. So it can give you 4K at max but again uh, I do not suggest playing any YouTube videos uh, with 4K or even 2K because these are very small screens. Uh, you do not really need a very high resolution um, output. It just you know overload the, the device and the YouTube app. Uh, for me I would generally use either 720p or 1080p at max. Uh, you know very good resolution for a small screen even if 720p as you can see this is 720p and it is very very clear. Um, so the good news there is no uh, issues with the audio and video sync. The video is playing quite nicely smooth. There is no buffering at all and then you can get an output of 4K at max. So YouTube performing fine. All right so now let us uh, test the Netflix app. As you can see this is a Netflix video that is playing and once it starts it plays quite smoothly. And the other way to test the performance uh, of such devices is to skip scenes um, and let us see if when we skip scenes like 10 seconds does it take a lot of time. Uh, so we double click. Okay. So the skipping scenes is not bad, it is instant. And the quality, clarity, the colors and brightness for Netflix is quite nice and amazing. So quite impressed with the Netflix but again you know on these apps it would take about 4, 5, 6 seconds for the app to start and fully load. Uh, device. Alright so the next thing I would like to test is uh, this very nice uh, supercast option. Uh, basically this allows uh, you to uh, mirror the mobile screen on the screen here and you can do this on both iPhones as well as Android mobiles. So what I will do here is uh, I will go to my iPhone uh, just for the test basically drop down, uh, click on the screen mirroring and then you get this option of iTocast, click on it and then it will take second or two to mirror the screen of your mobile to the screen here. And then you can go to any app um, and get that app mirrored on the screen here. Uh, so quite a nice feature. Um, 
and it doesn't uh, doesn't lag when you move your screen on the mobile uh, it kind of moves at the same time on the screen there as well all right friends so now let's test this live tv app now this is a unique one uh, you know you, you don't find this in most of the carplay adapters in the market uh, so let's see if if this works fine because if it does then you know uh, getting live tv for free on a 65 dollar carplay uh, carplay adapter would be amazing now once we click that you know i know it's it's got a lot of sections because i've tested a similar device or similar applications on on a few other devices so for example there is this section called the premium trial section this is a paid section so uh, let's skip that i don't want to get into the paid section but this is where you have the free channels now there are, are a lot of free channels uh, across the different categories you'll see on the left side i've tested this yesterday uh, so for example you've got the music uh, section you have 10 uh, channels on music if you click on the movies you've got 210 channels for music uh, similarly go to sports 182 channels uh, sports channels and um, and we can simply you know select for example this one here uh, and then it'll start playing now uh, this is obviously connected with your mobile's hotspot and also depends on the speed that you get on your mobile uh, the internet speed uh, because this requires a slightly higher speed uh, to run and then continue to run uh, stable stably for example this is playing in 19 this is uh, 1080p uh, and uh, it takes a while for the channel to start uh, but on most of the channels i tested once it starts then it doesn't stop in most of the cases uh, i've experienced there's no buffering or lag of any sort all right and then you've got all the different sports channel from around the world um, these are uk channels sky sports you've got the espn you've got the star sports from india uh, you've got super sports from south africa uh, so different channels from around the world and similarly the movie section would have 210 channels and these are all the different channels from around the world all right guys so now let's test the all important wireless carplay on this device so we click on this carplay icon it basically takes us to this section this is where you have uh, all the instructions on how to connect this so basically what we need to do is go to the bluetooth section of the iphone um, and look for this new device as uh, ai to cost click on this pair the device allow it to sync on text favorites and that's it you know now it will connect as you can see it's connected here it'll just take a second or two for the home page of carplay appear on the screen here All right, so there you go. So this is the home page of uh, Apple CarPlay. Now you just need to uh, do this once, you know, connect your mobile with the screen once. And then every time you switch on the car, you'll have an option of directly going to the CarPlay without doing the connections again. All right, so now let's connect the wireless Android Auto system. So basically we click on this. Um, now it will show us all the instructions on how to connect that. So basically we go to the uh, the Android mobile, I've got my uh, Samsung here. We go to the Bluetooth section, uh, look for a new uh, device here. There you go, click on it, it'll start pairing, and that's it. So the Android auto connection is very quick, uh, just one message, and you say yes to that, and then in a few seconds, you should get the home page of uh, the Android auto system uh, appear on the screen here. There you go. So quite quick, uh, just like Apple CarPlay, you know, this uh, connects quite uh, nicely, very quick. It, this is a landing page where you have the navigation appearing. You've got some of the shortcut uh, icons here. You've got uh, calls. You can um, use the music as well. Uh, you've got uh, voice assistant, just like Siri on mobile. You can have the Google voice assistant here. Uh, this is where you actually get the split screen view. This is the media playing and you can use the steering wheel control here as well all right uh, and then you've got navigation here you can you know if you want to get the full screen of the navigation click on the map section here you get the full screen and you get all the the features of the navigation bit here you click on this and then you click once more and then you start seeing all the different uh, apps that are available on the android auto system these are the standard ones that are compatible with the android auto 
um, and you've got the settings to change the look and feel and the icons. Uh, but you know, all in all, I think it's uh, it works perfectly fine. Just like CarPlay, Android Auto is also working quite nicely, very quick to connect. You've got all the functionality of uh, of Android Auto also available. Uh, all right, friends. So I've connected this uh, Time Now device with my TV at home, and I've also connected this Air Mouse. Um, to operate the device on the TV screen. As you can see, uh, it works very nicely. I'm really impressed with the live TV on this. I've been playing this for a while and uh, it's very nice. You've got so many channels. For example, in the sports section, you've got 136 live sports channel from around the world. Uh, and you can just pick one and uh, start playing that. For example, Sky Sports here. Um, you know, it takes about probably four seconds, five seconds for the channel to load. And then once it's loaded, it plays very nicely. So another added benefit of getting this device, not only for your car, but also to enjoy at home. All right, friends. So this was a very quick review of, uh, of this Time Now CarPlay Media Adapter. Uh, we've tested quite a few of the, the different functions and applications on this device. You know, everything seems to be working quite nicely. Now, a few things I like about this device. Number one would definitely be the price, uh, only $65, uh, amazing price for uh, such a loaded uh, CarPlay adapter. Uh, the other thing I like about this device is uh, definitely the live TV app. Uh, you know, the live TV app that comes with free channels is amazing. You know, it's a free for life kind of uh, a live TV package. If you want to invest, you can buy the premium uh, channels as well. But if you don't want to do that, you get a lot of the live TV content on this device. Uh, then number three for me is this supercast or the mobile screen mirroring function, which is quite nice. A very, very good application to have on, on such a CarPlay adapter. Uh, and the number four for me is uh, the user interface. You know, as you can see, it's such a nice looking uh, user interface with all the nice widgets, um, the user interface and the color themes very, very attractive and user friendly. Uh, a couple of negatives for me. One is that uh, this is a closed Android system, so you cannot install any other app if you want. Uh, and then the other one is that uh, it's a bit slow when it loads uh, these uh, applications. So it takes about five to seven or around 10 seconds for, for some of the applications to load. But once they are loaded, then they work and you know nicely smoothly they don't stop no lag or buffering of any sort especially on netflix or youtube so all in all very very decent highly recommended device for people who don't want to spend a lot of money on on carplay adapter if you like this if you want to buy this just go to the link in the description of this video that takes you directly to the time now official store where you can buy this very nice carplay media adapter so that's it friends thanks for watching this video